Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for, well, I'm looking forward to this, a very intriguing mixture of Sandwich Sudoku and Nine Sweeper Sudoku um, by Alvin Benhardson, who we featured about a month ago with this Nine Sweeper idea. I think that was a Thermo Nine Sweeper, I'm going to say. Um, this one's combining it with a different rule set, uh, so could be very interesting and looking forward to that. Now, over on Patreon, we have um, the Fistamafel puzzle, uh, Sisyphus and Simon rolling that rock up the hill to try and solve it, um, and occasionally, especially early on, having to uh, find the rock rolling back down onto his feet. Um, it's a really good video and well worth uh, subscribing to see if you haven't already. Also, of course, the solution video to the April Reward puzzle by Demono. Um, and we will put up some crossword content this week as well. So loads going on on Patreon as always. Um, there's always the apps as well. They're on the links in the description field, uh, as is the Discord site and this puzzle. So what's going on with this one? Well, we've got this nine sweeper rule again, where um, the coloured cells add up the number of nines in the surrounding boxes. So this will look at these, well, eight or nine boxes around it. That, that doesn't really matter. Let's assume it's eight. And it will say how many nines are in that group of cells. And it will put that number in this digit. Now, the reason I say eight or nine doesn't matter is because obviously the central digit can never be a nine because it can't be surrounded by nine nines. Uh, because normal Sudoku rules apply. Now, we're combining that with our regular sandwich rule, which is that numbers outside the grid, like this 11, show the sum of the digits between the 1 and the 9 in that row or column. So in this column, the 1 and the 9, wherever they appear, it might be there and there, for instance, will have digits totaling 11 between them. Um, and that's all we get. No given digits. We don't expect that anymore. Um, looks very interesting. I don't know how this combination is going to work, but Albin has become a bit of a master of his own idea of the nine sweeper. So let's see how it goes. Now, do give it a try on the link below the video yourself. I'm going to try now. Let's get cracking. Um, well, the four clue is going to mean the one and nine are only separated by a four. Ah. 33 clue. Now there's only four ways for this to go. The point about a 33 clue is given the incredible secret that um, this digits from one to nine add up to 45. Did you know that? Uh, the When you take the one and nine out of that sum, the maximum sandwich clue is 35. And this is 33, and that means the only number not in the sandwich in this row, obviously apart from the 1 and 9 itself, is the 2. So the 2 has to be on one end or the other. And then if the 2 is here, 1 and 9 are there. If the 2 is there, 1 and 9 are there. Oh, and of course, this works brilliantly with this. I've got it now. With this... Um, my nine sweeper clue. So the only possible numbers, I remember this now from last time, that can be in these nine sweeper cells are one, two, and three. And that's for the simple reason that the number of nines that such a cell can see is limited to the three rows that it, it's touching. So three is the maximum. It's always got to be a one because this is a, this is a Sudoku. We're not putting zeros in it. In fact, let's just put in 1, 2, and 3 in all of those cells because we know that. But now, remember what I said, the external digit is a 2. And of course, 1 and 9 are either there and there or there and there. So the whole point of that is that this cell doesn't can't be 1 or 2 because they have to be outside it. So that is a 3. And that means there's 1, 9 here, 1 here and one in one of these two cells. Now the one here is significant because we can't have a nine here because the nines are far too outside of that. So we're gonna to have to put a nine there, the two there, and a one there, and then we can be absolutely sure, thanks to our big secret, that these six numbers will add up to 
45. Now, this 3 needs to be satisfied with three nines around it. In the row above, it can't have a 9 in there because of the box. So actually, we can fill in all of its 9s. This, uh, this cannot be a 3 because we can't put another 9 in box 9. So that's a 2. Now what about these? This can't be a 1 anymore because of that 1. It can't be a 3 either because it can't pick up a 9 in, the, in row 5 because the 9's gone there. So that's now going to have to be a 2 with one 9 here and the other one in one of these two cells. And I don't know which one. This one... This one won't be able to be a 3 because it can only see into two boxes. Uh, but it could be a 1. Now, a very important thing in this rule set, and I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning, is that all possible highlighted cells are given. So there is a negative constraint. And that means, for instance, that this 1 can't touch a single 9. I mean, actually, it couldn't because of where they're positioned now anyway. But um, this negative constraint might come to matter at some point. Anyway, let's do some regular sandwich stuff now. We've got a few nines in the grid. We've got a few sandwich clues that use them. So this five, let's, what I like to do, well, what I like to do actually in sandwich is make the nines and ones red and the digits in between green. Um, I guess we've got some green cells, but of course this one could, no, this can't be a one, of course, because of the sandwich clue. Bam, so that's done. Uh, that's a two. Okay, it doesn't mean I know where the nine in box one goes, but now I can happily color all these, all the cells in between the mines green by pure good fortune. I've thought of doing that at the point when um, the nine sweeper clues are all green. Right, um, so five in this column I was going to look at. So that, if the... Sandwich goes down, it's two and three with a one there. If it goes up, it's not two and three because of the box. So the one would have to be there. Now we've got a 22 clue in this row. That's got to be at least four cells of green. Then the one is going to be up in one of these two. 11 clue here. So that's always got to be two or three cells in the sandwich. Don't know anything about this four clue. Oh, this box I can fully green because we've got the one and the nine in it. Um, ah, negative constraint. Bam, look, where does one go in this row? Well, it doesn't go here because that space could only touch one single nine and therefore it would have to be a colored cell. And it's not. Um, just realized it's a bit silly actually for me to use green for the coloring because we would like to know where the original colored cells were. So while I can still remember them, let's make everything else purple instead. So the greens are the original colored cells. They're in sandwiches, we do know that by now, but the purples are the cells we're deducing are not in sandwiches. Right, and what I was looking at was where does one go in this row? And it doesn't go here because it could possibly only touch one nine. And it's not highlighted. So that is not one. Also, the same is true here. It would touch exactly one nine, but it's not a highlighted cell. So we actually know where one goes. Let's color it. Uh, the rest is purple, as Hamlet nearly said. Now, one way or another, yes, this four clue, we can do that now. It can't be four here and nine here because of that nine. So we're gonna go north for the four and the nine, and that's quite interesting. Let's just look at the effect on the nine sweeper clue at the top while I do the coloring. Now, this sees two nines and it's got one here, but it's not gonna have any, um, well, it's not going to have any in, in this row. It might have a 1, so I can't colour them purple. But it is going to see a 9 up here in one of these two cells because it is a 2 and it is highlighted. 
So, ooh, right, nine in row one now has to be over here. Which doesn't really help with any sandwiches because that doesn't feature in any sandwich clue row or column. Um, so where did we get to? Let's have a look at this 20 clue. Okay, it's got to have a one or a nine in box one and a one or a nine in box seven. It can have two or three outies, I think. I don't know, I don't really know what's going on there. Let's have a look at this seven clue instead. Right, if the sum goes north, that's purple and that will be the one. If it and that will be a five, in fact. If it goes south, it'll be three, four with a one there. Oh, I don't know which way. We've done the thirty-three. This eighteen looks very lots of potential. Um, loads of different ways it could work. Twenty-one clue. Okay, we've got a nine in one of these cells. Uh, how long is the 21 sandwich? Well, it could be just 8, 7, 6, which is 3 cells, but it could be 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, which is 5. So 1, ah, 1 can't be here. Look, there's a 1 in one of those cells and a 9 here, so those are purple. Ooh, now the only way 9 could be there is with a one there and eight, seven, six. But that is possible. Right, might need to think about the nine sweeper rule again and the negative constraint. Where can one go? Okay. No, one could go here, could be touching two nines. Right, I don't quite know what the right question at this point is. Let's um, surely it's to do with the negative constraint because I can't think of anything else that is obviously doable at the moment. Apologies if you are spotting something. Right, that one doesn't touch a nine. In fact, this cell can't be either one or nine because it sees them both. Maybe that's the sort of thing to do a bit more of. Those two can't have a nine because, or a one. Ah, yes, where is one in box one? Right, if it was here, it would definitely see a single nine in one of those two cells, so it can't be there. It's not here, so it must be over this side. If it was there, oh, it might not see a one, a nine. And if it was there, it would see two. If it was there, it would definitely see just one. So it can't, that can't be the one. So one is in one of these two cells, which is really weird. Um, oh yes, and this 20 sum. Right, one cannot be there because the maximum length of the 20 sum is five cells and nine would be there where it can't be. So that's not the one. So we now know the one in box one is here. And now to avoid being colored, it oh, it already touches two cells. Okay, that's fine. But I can color it red. Sorry, it already touches two nines is what I mean. Now, the 20 sum, well, we know that sees a one and a nine. Now the one in column two has to be here. Oh, that was the learning from making that purple. So I can actually fill in the digits, four and three. Oh, not like that, three and four there. Oh, look, twos. I've been wondering how we're ever gonna get numbers in this grid, but now I'm beginning to see now, this one, ah, oh yeah, this one is not colored. So it doesn't see a single nine, which would be the nine in box seven. So those two cells are not nines, they are purple. Nine is down here somewhere, and therefore the nine in row eight has to be here, which is not in any sums. 
so one could still be there annoyingly. Um, but we do have an 18 sum down here, which is a maximum of four cells. Yeah, it couldn't be five. That has to add up to 20. So that is not a one. Um, but all those others could be a one. That's irritating. Mm, okay, I need to do more with this idea of non-touching right. This is clearly not a 1 or 9. This one can't be a 1 because it would be coloured. Uh, oh, look, this is... Oh, right, this 20 clue, of course, yes. That, that can't be the 9 for the 20 clue, right. Oh, in fact, the 20 clue goes all the way down, and 20 is the absolute minimum number that can be a five-cell sandwich. So we can put in 3-4 because of that 3-4. Now we know that this is a 7-8 pair at the top. We obviously know where the 9 goes in box 1. That's got a 21 clue. Ooh, with the 7 there... Seven minimum there. I don't think this 21 clue can be five cells. If it was, it would be... Oh, it would be two, three, four, five, seven. Okay, it can be. Poor maths. That one is not coloured anymore. Those two can both be red. That's now purple. That's purple. Um, right, of course. One cannot be here or here because it would be touching just one nine and would need to be coloured. So we know where the last two ones in rows eight and nine go. Not the last we have to colour, but um, the last in the grid are at the bottom there. Now that we get a one here as a result, which can go red, no one here. Now we get this five clue we can fill in with a th three there. Ah, oh, that one has made these purple. So I can make that purple. Actually, I'll make those two red because we know that's where the ones are going. And we are all done with ones and nines. So now we're just doing numbers. Um, right, I've done that five clue. This is a 22. So these three cells add up to 19. They're going to be either 8, 7, 4, or 8, 6, 5. I'll come back to that. These two add up to 11. And there's three combinations. I'll come back to that. How annoying. Done all the other down clues. Right, across, 21. Yeah, the outies for a 21 clue, if they're only two, are 6 and 8. So now we know the one is there. That's a six, eight pair. That fixes this as a seven. This is now a naked single five. It can see one, two, three, four, nine in the column, seven, six, eight in the row. So this is a two, four, three triple, four and two. So that 21 was a very useful clue. This is now a naked single six, four, three pair over there. This is an eight, seven pair. This is a two, five, six triple with an eight, seven pair below it. Yes, look how those eight sevens form a batch of pairs. Now, this 18. There's, I haven't really looked at this and there's still quite a few possibilities, I think. But that and this 22, and that 11, that's all we've got left to really work on in terms of sandwich clues. Ah, three is looking at that cell. So maybe I'm going to have to pick off bits like this. Um, oh, look, two can go in there. And that's all. Ah, right. If this adds up to 22, plus the 1 and 9 is 32, plus that 2 is 34, these two add up to 11. 
which is either 7-4 or a 5-6 pair. So 8 is somewhere in this column, which fixes this 6-8 pair at the top. To three is now somewhere in those cells because that three rules it out of there. That actually does fix this four and three. This is very pretty. Three, six, eight, one, two, nine. So that is five or seven. Um, that is five or seven because four is locked in those cells. So eight and six, yes, that would have been the simpler way to see it. Six and eight are a pair there. This is a four up here. This is a three, five, seven. No, in fact, three must go here now. I don't know why with that three there, I pencil marked it here. So we've got a five, seven pair there. Five, seven, and six are the candidates here. It's still this 18 sum that I just, I don't feel I've got any traction on it at all. Um, nine, four, one. Oh, maybe don't forget the negative constraint, which only cares about ones and twos, really, because the any places that three can go, we have sorted out already. But two in either of those cells would be marked because it would see both of those nines. So two can't be there. It also can't be in any of those by normal Sudoku. Bam, two here goes there. Two over there. That does the last two in the grid. Now, does that get us any more? Right, there's a two in this 18 sum. So the other three add up to 16. Again, it's not very, ah, oh, there's now a three in it as well, yes. Right, that's getting better. So five plus 13. So that can't be a four anymore. It could be a five with an eight here, or it could be a six with a seven here. So we've got a three, eight, seven, triple. Oh, the four in the row I've just seen goes here. This is now an eight, seven pair. That's five or six. This is now a five, six pair looking up there. Six, seven, we've got a five to go in the final column. Eight and four can get filled in there. Suddenly, things are really happening here. Eight and seven are done. Six and seven, I've done the whole of row five. That's a three, five pair. Now look, three locked into columns five and six in both those boxes. So down here, it's got to be in column four. Um, and I still haven't done this sum. Could, oh, and I haven't finished this either, but that's still got two possibilities right. So this one could be six, five, or four, seven. It has to be in one of those orders. Surely there's no more nine sweeper work to do. I don't think there is. So we're just doing sandwich Sudoku now. These are from six, seven, and eight. Might as well fill in the candidates. Um, three, nine, one, two. Oh, there's quite a few candidates here. What have I missed here? I've missed one of the sums, surely. That 18 and that 11, they're all I think I have left to figure out the constituents for. Seven, eight pair, I've used that. One of these is seven or no, I must be, I'm missing something in these groups. Six, seven, eight, triple, good grief. Okay, so this, six, seven, eight, triple, nine, one, two, three in the box, this is four or five, and look at that pair, that is very helpful, and in fact, presumably finishes the puzzle. Nine, 11, that's a seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, seven. That indeed is the last cell in its box. Seven there, six, eight, yeah, that's all resolved. Oh, six, eight, I'm gonna get left with a deadly triple. 
um, three, four, and five are, but this is in, look, that's a very nice deadly pattern across three dominoes, but this is in this 11 sandwich sum. So that finishes the puzzle. And that is a very neat piece of work by Albin. Really nice. Um, I hope you had a go at that. That was very entertaining. The negative constraint was important. So I'm glad it's in the rule set. And I'm pretty sure I didn't mention it at the beginning, but it did matter. Maybe I did say uh, that all nine sweeper cells were given. It certainly was important. Thank you very much for following us as always. And I very much hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now. Thank you.